Hello, I'm Professor Dr. Manjuri Tripathi. I'm a neurologist at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. I specialize in epilepsy. And I am here to tell you about what are the emergency situations that a person with epilepsy can face so that we act upon on time and save the neurons and the function of the person who is experiencing this emergency situation. So the commonest emergency situation for a person with epilepsy is a condition which is known as status epilepticus. It is the same as you may have heard about status asthmaticus. That's a long asthma attack. A status epilepticus is a prolonged seizure. So any big seizure which lasts for more than five minutes of the convulsions, that is the motor movements, these go on for more than five minutes. That's generalized status epilepticus. Any focal seizure like this going on in that position for more than 10 minutes is status epilepticus. Why is it important to remember this or know this? As a responsible citizen, we all must know when to act to save the life of a colleague or a friend or a relative. And that is why it is imperative that whenever you witness an episodic event in a person, the eyewitness should either make a recording on the mobile phone and another eyewitness who could be a colleague or friend or relative, time the seizure. Why is it important to time the seizure? Because you will know that it's crossing. The motor movement is crossing five minutes. You will know there has to be an action plan to take this person to the hospital or abort the seizure with emergency medicine, which may be available with the person. So let's look into why it is important. It is important because we are what we are because of our brain. If we do not have a functioning brain, we cannot function. We cannot talk. We cannot understand. We cannot read. We cannot write. We cannot work. We need the brain. When there is status epilepticus, there is damage of neurons. When there is a damage of these neurons, there is damage to the brain. In essence, time is brain. So you have to time the seizures because the longer the time since the patient is convulsing, the more the brain is lost or gets damaged. So what has to be done in status epilepticus or any seizure? What is the first state? You must turn the person to the side. You must loosen a tight cloth. So this is tight. It's and if I'm convulsing, you're going to just loosen it this much. You're not going to undress the person. You're just going to loosen it a bit. So it's loosened so that I can breathe because I'm convulsing and my breathing is going to be labored. So I'm going to open it so that little bit so that I can breathe. I can allow the person to breathe who's having the convulsion. I will turn the person to the side and I will time the seizure and somebody else, I will instruct them to make a video of the event so that that can be shown to the doctor. If the motor convulsion is crossing five minutes, rush the person to the hospital. Okay. If the motor convulsion stops or you do not know whether it's going to stop, the person may be a known person with epilepsy. I repeat, a known person with epilepsy very often has an emergency medicine which is known as intranasal midazolam. This medicine can be given through the nose just like that for asthma. And the person or the bystander has to insert it into the nostril and give about five or six puffs, which the dose of which should be known to the work partner or the family member. And the doctor would have written this dose in the outpatient treatment slip. So that has to be given so that we can abort the seizure at the workplace or at home. We don't have to panic and the seizure will stop and not cross that dangerous limit of five minutes. However, if it crosses that five minutes of convulsions, rush the person to the hospital. Now, what you should not do during the seizure is very important. Do not stuff anything into the mouth because during the convulsions, the teeth get clenched. Okay, If you stuck, stuck something inside the mouth, it can break because the power of clenching is so great. It can go into the lungs, choke the person and the person can die. Why we ask you to turn to the side is because there is frothing in saliva and that saliva will fall out and not 
choke the person. We also do not make them smell funny things. We don't make them smell an onion or a shoe or anything like that. That's not done. What is to be done is to time the seizure and to video the seizure and give the intranasal medication. If the patient is violently convulsing when turned to the side, because you have turned the person to the side, do not press and hold the person. Because if you press and hold the person, there is movement and there can be a shoulder dislocation or a fracture. So do not press upon the person or hold the person. The motor movement will stop. Make sure that there is nothing sharp or dangerous around the person like a big stone or a sharp knife or a metal object which can hurt the person. So remove all sharp objects and dangerous objects from the person's surrounding. It's also very important that we do not be afraid of what is happening. Our aim and goal should be to support the person and help the person out of this hour of or minute of need. Apart from this, the person will recover when taken to hospital or at workplace. He will eventually recover and he'll be as normal or she'll be as normal as any other person. So it's very important to have empathy and support a person who's convulsing. Not be afraid. Also, do not ridicule a person who's convulsing. It is important so because many a times these people may pass urine in their clothes because it's involuntary. That could happen to anybody. And a seizure could happen to anybody. A seizure is not going to tell whom it's going to affect. Hence, it's essential that we keep an understanding in order to help our colleagues or our relatives with this so that they can be meaningful, productive members of the society. I'm sure we all need many more to take this country forward. And hence, if all this is done, the person with epilepsy will be a friend for life. People with epilepsy are wonderful people. They have aims, they have goals, they are very creative and they are also very good to know because you can, when a person has a problem and you help them out, it helps improve the work atmosphere. It helps build empathy in the team. It helps show the team that we are humans who treat the other humans with dignity and work together to create an environment of inclusiveness. This inclusiveness is very important for a person with epilepsy, whether he is having that single seizure at workplace or whether he is in status epilepticus. Of course, in status epilepticus, if it crosses five minutes and you don't have the intranasal, you will rush them to the hospital nearby. Thank you.